Hi everyone, my name is King IV and this is Introduction to IDEA. And in today's lesson, we'll be discussing how to relate data. And if you haven't checked out the previous three videos, the IDEA software, importing data, and categorizing data, I recommend that you check those out before you watch this lesson because it'll set it really set up how we're going to perform the activities here. But let's go ahead and get started. First thing we need to do is import five Excel files. So it's going to be these five Excel files. So let's go ahead and get started, start importing those ones. And if you haven't checked out the importing data set one, then I recommend that you do that before we, before you get, come to this section. So again, you can see how simple it is to import something, not too complicated. Perfect. So now we have all four files imported. And what, you, what we want to do is really focus on this area right here called relate. So there's a couple of key ones that we're going to do. So we're going to do join, append. Oh, we're mostly going to be focused on those two. But visual connector is also another way to perform some joins. It's all especially important to perform those types of joins when you do many to many connections. So let's go ahead and, and get started with. Um, with a pen, so let's start with Q1, and we're gonna hit the append, and it's gonna ask us when we do a pen, it's gonna ask us what other tables we want to include. So essentially, what a pen does is it takes an existing table, and then adds rows to it. That's how you relate the data. So it's gonna add, for example, uh, Q. Uh, let's start with this. Q2, Q3, Q4. It's going to ask us for the new name of the data. So let's call this yearly sales. As soon as I press OK, now this is made up of 36 rows, which is the combination of the four quarters. So you can see how this is a really neat and handy way of combining data in a, in a very efficient manner. Next thing we want to do is we want to join the data. So what the concept of joining data is, is adding columns to it where you don't have the information. So here I have the sales amount, the product, the store number, and the quarter, but I don't have, what I don't have is the margin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this margin percentage from the product margin table and connect it with the yearly sales data. And I'm going to be connecting it based off the product product ID, which is consistent in both tables. So here we're going to click on join and there's a couple key areas here. So let me walk through it. Some of you won't have to change. So for example, normally you wouldn't have to change this area, which is the list of uh, fields in the, in your original table. So in this case, yearly sales, this table I'm starting with, right? Uh, and then here you can add a filter. Again, not overly common, but there's definitely going to be situations where you're going to apply the filter. Uh, and they give you a really good example here. And then in the secondary database is what's the other table you're going to join with. So in this case, we're going to be joining with the product margin. And it's going to ask you what fields you want to include. In this case, I only want to include uh, margin percentage. So I'm going to unclick product. And it's going to ask you, how do you want to join? So in this case, I actually want to join based off of product and they have to be consistent types. So you can see that there's C here, but there's also opportunity. Oh, you can also include more than one row if you wanted to, uh, but you can also include uh, numerics and dates, but they all have to be the same type. And that's going to be really important. And you can as well have more than one key that you want to join on. And it's going to ask you what, a, what kind of uh, join you want to do. So you can do matches only, which is basically uh, the intersection. You can do records with uh, with no secondary match, which is going to basically give you all. So if I were to highlight this, it's going to be basically be that yellow area. If I can. So basically, it's going to be give me all the sales, the sale transactions, where there's no product margin. Uh, records with no primary match, so the reverse. So give me all the product margins where there's no sales records for it, all records in the primary file. So give me everything in the primary file, regardless if there's any in the, the secondary file. 
and then give me all records in both. So give, give me everything. So here I'm going to call this the name. Use sales with product margin. So again, joining is probably the one of the most important functions that you're going to be using in IDEA. It's a really neat and powerful way. And you can think of it similar to a uh, to VLOOKUP, but with a whole bunch of different features uh, combined together. Like, for example, the unmatch or the many-to-many -many, uh, connections that you can perform. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you.